What's happening, people? New hoodies have dropped on the Almighty Merch website. We've also got new beanies with the 2.0 logo that Average Joe did for us. I think it's sick. We're gonna have it on t-shirts coming soon, but these are available now. Uh, the pink one kind of pissed me off. I wish it was filled in, but if you like that, it's a cool color. I wish it was filled in like this one, but it is what it is. Remember, ship free, 23, get free shipping. I'm seeing people using no codes and not getting shipping for free and paying for it. Free shipping, ship free, 23. Use the code. Thank you, thanks everyone. What's going on guys? We're back here with episode two of Almighty Cooking Blighty. Basically, it's me, UFC Fire, Arnold Allen, cooking up some uh, English cuisine with my cat. Sometimes she makes noises, sometimes she doesn't help at all. Usually she doesn't help at all. First off, I'm gonna make a cup of tea so I can have a cup of tea while I'm doing my shit. Then I'm going to put my frozen hash browns into the oven. I know like it's the English, they call it a fry up English breakfast, but I'm gonna put these in the oven because I don't, ha I just have a couple of hobs. I'll be honest with you. So I'm gonna take four hash browns. Yes, they're frozen. And probably so the ones you buy in the shop. Four beautiful hash browns going in the oven. About 10 minutes, I think. Top shelf, shall we say? Middle. Middle. I have some sourdough bread. I am quite health conscious, even when eating my four English breakfast fried to fucking death. I like to have some sourdough. But you know, like the thing is with the full English breakfast is you can kind of do it your own way. Some people are keen on black pudding. Some people like fried mushrooms. I like the fried mushrooms. But the plum tomatoes, the canned tomatoes, can get fucked. They are disgusting. Like if you're someone that has them sort of like goopy canned tomatoes, like get fucked. But if you're also someone that has those canned tomatoes and you follow my channel, thank you. Okay, with any good full English breakfast, obviously you need a tea. You can have a coffee with your full English. You can have whatever you want. You can have milk if you want. We're in Canada and we're limited to our teas. So we have Twinings. My missus calls it Twinnings, because she's Canadian. Tea noir, gu anglais, donné d'infusion, cap minu, recommand. It does say it in English on the other side if you're not uh, bilingual like me. Black tea, English breakfast. You're gonna want to come over. You're gonna want to boil your kettle. You're gonna want to. You're gonna want to inspect your mug because it's got soap still in it. Make sure you give that a rinse because you don't want soap in your tea. You just don't want to be adjusting the, the chemicals of soap, really. The assistant chef has been drinking. She may have had one too many whiskeys. She is from Belstead in Ipswich, so it makes sense. My Nordic Viking 2% organic milk. I'm gonna get my milk. I'm gonna get me a teaspoon. I'm gonna take said sachet tea. Interesting. Sachet is obviously a French word, but I don't believe the French in Quebec use the word sachet, do they? Sachet, yeah. Okay, they do, yeah. All right. Okay, so first off, I put the tea bag in, okay? I strain it, attack it, attack it, attack it. Don't split the bag. And then I take the tea bag out, and then I put a dab of milk into the tea. And then you stir it, and then you add the assortment of sugars you would like. Maybe you're a classic guy, you use the little sugar cubes. Maybe you have some sweetener, which I don't recommend. Neither do I recommend the sugar, sometimes I have no sugar. Today I'm gonna have maybe one. I'm gonna level with you though. I don't know that, it looks fucked. So anyway, yeah, I have a fuck tea. And the way I live my life is a little bit chaotic, so I'm a little bit unprepared. I did not buy any mushrooms to fry up today. Like I said, I'm a little bit health conscious. Avocado oil, beautiful. I'm gonna put, that's quite a lot of oil. I'll get a bit more. It's something beautiful people of Britain, the queen, the king, the king's country, aren't gonna be happy with me about. I don't eat the pork. I've been off the pork for a bit over a year, since my dog died, dog related. He was a little pig, I don't know, I kind of just, I live in the countryside, I see a lot of pigs, I saw them running, there is a flapping, kind of reminded me of my dog and I was a bit sad because he just died and I saw the pig and I was just like, fuck it, how can I eat that? I love my dog. Anyway, that's why I don't eat pork. That doesn't mean you're excluded from the full English conversation. We have turkey bacon, poulet sausages, and if you're not fluent in French, that means chicken. All hope isn't lost. I know maybe some people will see this and be like, what in the fuck are you playing at, Arnie, mate? Like, what are you doing? Well, I was fucking born and raised on the pork. Do you know what I mean? What more do you want? It's just annoying when you go out, 
you go out somewhere, you go to a nice little cafe down the seafront, and oh, you're like, oh, okay, can I have a uh, fucking full English? Oh, do you have uh, turkey bacon? Do you have chicken sausage? No, they don't. It's not your traditional breakfast sausage. I bought it from the market. If you've ever been to Montreal, there's a beautiful market in Atwater, Atwater Market. Get yourself some good, organic, fresh shit. Yeah. I spent a few years working in the chip shop. Ah. <laughs> kind of reminds me when I worked at the chip shop, I used to have to throw the fucking chips in the fryer and I'd get all burns up my arms. It was hell. I always thought you'd get conditioned to it, but I never did. So I'm going to cross contaminate, I'm going to put some turkey in there. Let the party begin. Fuck, you got me from here. Oh, beans, fuck. I would advise not cooking in your almighty shirt that you bought for 20 quid with free shipping using the code free ship 23 that is not good tea. Fucking piss water. You better start your beans. You better start the beans. Maple style beans. These are maple beans. They're pretty good. Maple beans are pretty good. I'm a traditional beansman, but I do like a maple bean. They are fun. How the fuck do people do this shit? I feel like I'm under fire. Jesus. Oh. Jesus, so fucking hot. Wash your hands before handling any other objects. <sighs> yes, chef. Fucking yes, chef. What's that? You want a couple of bakers, do you? What? Yes, chef. Yes, Ramsay, chef. Yes, Gordon. My spot. That's big. Gordon Ramsay comes into my kitchen. It's gotta be respectful. Good sir. I've absolutely fucked the turkey bacon. I fucking hate burnt bacon. Poor thing. I've absolutely destroyed the turkey. It looks like shit. You're about to destroy the chicken sausages if you don't move them. Gordon would not be happy. The alarm might go off in a second. I've always had a hard time cooking sausages. I'll be honest with you, not my forte. I haven't been cooking this my fucking forte. I'm burnt to a crisp. The house smells like it's burning down. The beans are fucked. The sausages are made of chicken. It's a shit show. Like, I need to get my ass back to fighting soon because this is fucked. How do you know the chicken sausages are done? So yeah, we've got the meat for my motor out. We're gonna check my meat. Just have the chicken in here. According to my assistant, these sausages are good to go. I forgot about the beans. Just take them off to the side then. Bring some eggs in there. And that's one thing you don't want to forget. You don't want to forget your eggs. So I'm going to give this a little crackety crack. How do you like your eggs? I just fucking cook, really. As long as they're cooked, I'm happy. So I'm cooking two eggs. The sausage has now been contaminated. The chicken has now been contaminated. The thing is, when it comes to full English breakfast, it is going to attack your heart. Fuck with your cholesterol levels. I don't know what you would want me to tell you. Look at the fucking grease. What kind of butter are you using there? Some sort of vegan shit butter. It's not mine, I ran out of my one. One thing I like to do is just a bit of buttered bread, you know. I don't even usually toast it. Just a bit of buttered bread, I like to dip it in. Like, you know, dip it in the egg and all that. A bit of beans in there, get a bit of beans to the party. Look at that fucking bacon. That bacon is the worst thing I've ever seen. It just makes me want to go back to eating pork, to be honest. I fucked it up. A lot of people like crispy bacon. Disgusting. Just picture the scene though, you know what I mean? Big Ramsey comes up behind you. Oh, you're a fucking dickhead, what have you done to the bacon? I was like, I'll fucking burn it, you knobhead. Like, what do you want? What do you fucking want? He's gonna lose his mind, he's gonna fucking fire me. He's gonna be like, there's a cat in the kitchen. Your cat's all over the kitchen, she's trying to eat the bacon. I have to spark him out. A bit upset, because I'm a fan of your shows. I, I wouldn't want enough. The, cat, oh. the cat's fucking stealing the show again. <laughs> what is she doing? She's just climbing. Okay, so get her down. No, you can't, you can't scale the fucking thing. Every time. Like, she doesn't do that all the time. It's just when I'm cooking, she starts doing weird shit. Okay, just shut the door then. What the fuck? Hats off to the ladies that work in the caps though, because you get your full English, everything is still nice and warm. The bacon isn't fucked. Imagine that, they're doing this hundreds of times in one day. Yeah. You can't even do it once. Tea's better. The beans aren't fucked. It all comes out warm together. Mine is going to be fucked, so... That's nice, lovely, beautiful. Okay, I'd say these eggs are pretty good. I don't know my eggs fried to death. Yeah, they're so long, this is pretty good to me. I hate when they have crispy bits on. I like a little stack. Okay, nice. So the last one I used, these maple beans kind of like give you a weird color, but they are pretty fucking good. I like to just kind of put it all in together, you know, and let it be, let it be a team, like a harmony, rather than everything separate and spaced out. Like when you go to Big Gordon's restaurant and stuff and everything's all, it's like, ooh. 
All, all the beans go over here, the mushroom, oh, we've got half a mushroom. Listen Gordon mate, we know you're a serious geezer, but where'd you lose your way? I know you're a UFC fan as well, I'm a fan of your work, but stop distancing your food. I don't want a small garnish, I just want the lot. Bang. Let's have it. So I'm just making my missus uh, thing, she's like vegan, so I'm just going to give her a fucking beans and a bit of bread. Treat your woman right, you know, and I'm going to slap a hash brown on top. That's a five star meal right there. Thank you. Wash your hands because you might have some turkey shit residue. It was a little chaotic at times, but it turned out a lot better than I expected. The thing that really got fucked was the turkey. I think the bacon, the bacon, I'm not a big fan of that. That's how I used to like eating bacon. That's really hard. If you've been following my YouTube for a while, you know I had to murder a bird once. It was a... Mercy kill. Mercy kill. And I'm not very good at it. So turkey stays, that's a bird. Just knowing I could murk it. They don't look like your traditional sausage, because they ain't. Hopefully I cooked them right. It tastes pretty good. Hmm. I'm fucking covered in burns. I feel like I went to war. They're right. They're good. Yeah, no, they're pretty good. I, mean, I think a couple of more minutes would have done them. I rate it a 10. I'll give it like a 6, 7. Maybe a 7. Yeah, it's very good. If I didn't fuck up the bacon, it'd probably be an 8. And if the tea weren't shit, it would be, be a, a good 8. The eggs are done to perfection. Beautiful. I like it when the oak runs all over. The yolk runs all over the plate. And I can um, dip my bread into it. So if you've got to this far, thank you very much for watching, guys. I didn't know this, but people would make tips on Twitter, and a guy tipped me like £1.70. On so, YouTube, though. On YouTube, yeah. A guy a guy tipped me like £1.70 on YouTube, which is pretty fucking cool. I know it's not a lot. Considering it's like free content, and you don't really have to give me anything. I'm just going to make it anyway. Pretty nice of him. So if you want a tip, don't make a tip. I don't want to make a tip. But thank you for watching the video. Like, subscribe, call me a dickhead, whatever. Don't give a shit. Insult my cooking. Thanks, everyone. Hope you enjoyed.